These red light therapy helmets and laser caps are everywhere now, but do they actually work? Or are you just buying an expensive glowy hat? From influencer ads to glowing Amazon reviews claiming visible regrowth in just three months, they've become one of the biggest hair loss trends online. So by the end of this video, you'll know the difference between real science and marketing hype. And I'll give you a doctor's checklist to verify if the device you're about to buy is genuinely effective or just clever packaging. Hello. And welcome back to this channel. I'm Dr. Sean Mahmood, a GMC certified doctor and a hair transplant surgeon at Royal Wolf Clinic. We help people restore their hairlines and their confidence every single day. Now, let's unpack red light therapy. It goes by many names. Low level laser therapy, photobiomodulation, or simply triple LT. It's one of the most talked about non-surgical solutions for early stage hair loss. You've probably seen before the sleek helmets, LED caps, or laser combs that promise to reactivate dormant follicles. The concept sounds futuristic. Using light to grow hair, but the science behind it is surprisingly logical. Here's how it works. Red light therapy uses low energy red and near infrared light, usually with a wavelength between 630 and 680 nanometers. That light penetrates the scalp and is absorbed by an enzyme inside your cells called cytochrome C oxidase, which lives within the mitochondria, which as we all know, is the powerhouse of your cell. When this enzyme absorbs the light, it produces more ATP, which is the energy your cells use to function. It also reduces oxidative stress and inflammation, which are two major triggers for hair follicle miniaturization. Think of it like charging a weak battery. That light energy recharges your follicle cells, giving them the fuel to stay longer in the growth phase, also known as the anagen phase, and it delays entry into the telogen phase, which is also known as the shedding phase. And of course, if your hair is longer in the growth phase and not as long in the shedding phase, then you're going to have more growth and less shedding, which is going to end up with better hair growth overall. Now let's talk about the evidence. There was a double blind randomized control trial published in 2013 in the journal called Lasers in Surgery and Medicine. They tested a laser comb with a wavelength of 655 nanometers in 110 men with diagnosed androgenic alopecia. After 26 weeks, which is about six and a half months, the treatment group had an average increase of 19 hairs per square centimeter compared to the placebo group, aka the group who weren't using the laser combs but thought they were. That's a measurable, visible improvement. A year later, in 2014, there was a trial for women that showed almost identical results, around 20 new hairs per square centimeter after 24 weeks of consistent use. So early studies were already pointing in the right direction. Then there was a meta-analysis conducted in 2020. This was published in the Journal of American Academy of Dermatology, and that pulled data from 11 clinical trials. And what was the conclusion of that meta-analysis? They concluded that LLLT, or triple LT, significantly improved both hair density and thickness in men and women with mild to moderate androgenic alopecia with no major side effects. And in 2022, there was another systematic review published, which confirmed that red light light therapy consistently prolongs the growth phase and improves the caliber of the hair, especially when it's used regularly. Now, let's be clear, that doesn't mean that every glowing cap on Amazon works, because here's the catch. Not all of these devices are equal. Many cheap versions that you can buy online, they don't use true medical grade lasers. They use LED bulbs instead. And LEDs scatter light across the scalp while lasers focus the energy deep into the follicles. Think of it like the difference between a flashlight and a laser pointer. One spreads light everywhere, while the other delivers delivers power exactly where it's needed. And that wavelength matters too. I've mentioned it before in this video, but if that wavelength of the laser is not in that sweet spot, 630 to 680 nanometers for red light or 810 to 850 nanometers for near infrared light, then it simply won't penetrate deep enough to reach the follicular bulb. That's what separates true medical devices from cosmetic ones. Here's something that most people don't realize. Power density matters just as much as the wavelength. You need at least four to six milliwatts per square centimeter for it to trigger real biological change. Anything less than that, and you're just warming your scalp up. So yeah, there's real science behind it, but there's also a lot of marketing fluff. Let me show you how we use red light therapy in our clinic. At Royal Wolf Clinic, we see it as a supportive treatment, not just a standalone cure. It works best when it's part of a comprehensive plan, usually combined with PRP or exosome therapy. And these treatments that I just mentioned, PRP and exosome therapy, they supercharge follicular recovery, while the red light or the near infrared light helps maintain an oxygen-rich anti inflammatory environment, which is good for optimal growth. Typically, we recommend three sessions a week, 15 to 20 minutes each for at least three to six months before reassessment. The key word here 
care is consistency. The follicles need repeated exposure, just like exercise. One session in the gym is not going to build a bunch of muscle. Now let's get to the most useful part, your doctor's checklist to verify if the helmet or the cap you're buying is legitimate. The first thing you should look at is the light source. Look for medical grade laser diodes. Avoid devices that only use LEDs. There's certain keywords you can include in your search, like laser diode, LLLT certified, or class two medical device. You'll be able to find the right ones using that. Number two is the wavelength range. So most of these devices do advertise their wavelengths and the effective range for red light therapy is 630 to 680 and 810 to 850 nanometers for near infrared light. That's the range that's been proven in studies to reach the follicular bulb, the growing center of the hair follicle itself. Number three, power density. Aim for four to six milliwatts per square centimeter. This ensures enough light energy actually reaches them follicles. Now the fourth thing you want to think about is coverage. You want full scalp coverage, not just the top of the crown. Maybe that's where your bowling is, but bowling patterns can vary. So a good device distributes light evenly across the entire scalp. And the fifth thing is certification and warranty. Look for an FDA clearance, a CE marking, or clinical validation. Know that you're getting a legitimate product. Last and number six, a price reality check. True medical grade devices usually cost between 600 to 1500 pounds. Anything that's promising those same results for just 50 quid is just a toy with red lights. You need consistency over months to start seeing visible density changes. So you do, there is a form of commitment that you have to enter in order to get results. When used correctly and consistently, red light therapy can play an important role in your long-term maintenance plan, especially when paired with proven medical treatments. If your hair loss is already really advanced, then you may need to combine this with medications like finasteride or minoxidil, or even consider a surgical option like hair transplant for a permanent coverage. See, that's where professional guidance makes all the difference. So before you spend hundreds on a glowing helmet, make sure you understand what you're buying and how it fits into your long-term plan. That brings us to the end of this video. If you're looking to speak to me or my team, you can find a booking link in the description to discuss your problems or your hair loss. Here at RWC, we perform medical grade treatments to help you with your hair loss, whether it's early thinning or full restoration. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, you know, if you found this useful, then please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next one.